So, being a little bit sloppy, we just wrote this question. Uh, it says the number of squares of any size. So, um... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, what did you just count there? The squ one by one squares? Yes, there we go. There are 16 one by one squares. And you didn't even need to count, right? Because you, what you really did... What, what, did, what did happen there? Did I... Oh, one of them went off the screen. Okay. <laughs> um, uh, there are 16 one by one squares... Or another way we can say it, that's the area. Right? Actually, okay, so now... I think the area is 25. Be careful. We just talked about oh, yeah. toothpicks mm -hmm. and all Dumbbells. that stuff, right? Um, so, uh, yeah, so this distance right here is four, mm -hmm. right? Four toothpicks. Um, now, uh, what we're going to do... I can count another one. Um, there are... Uh, there is one four by four square. Okay. Right? So the question is what? What do we have to count? What's, what's the difficulty? Um, what's left between one by one and four by four? We have two by twos and three okay. by threes. Two by two and then three by three. Okay, so let's, let, I'm going to hit pause and we're going to figure out. So, uh, we paused, so to the viewer, it does not appear like any time went by, but we paused and thought about it. We said that this right here is a 3x3 three three square, mm -hmm. and all we can really do is take that 3x3 three three square and move it one to the right. And one down. And we can move it one down. And one to the right. Or we can move it only one, and then we move it back to the left, I guess. There are four 3x3 um, three three squares, and I'm just like... There's one of them, okay, and uh, you can find the rest. For yeah, there, there, so um, three by three, there are four three by three squares. Okay, um, now I'm gonna hit pause again. We're gonna figure out how many two by two squares there are. Okay. All right, so we have counted, and we think and the there are, are out. one. In the upper left, so I'll do it in pink here. Uh, there's one. There's two, two. And then there's three. Three. And then actually what I can do is I can move that whole picture down one, and then I can move it down one again. Mm -hmm. Right? So um, there are going to be nine two-by-two two squares. Uh, there's kind of a, a very sneaky way to do this one, I think. Um, let's go all the way back to the grid. Um... What if I told you this? What if I said, uh, let's not count squares. Let's count uh, the northwest corner. That's weird. Okay. In other words, when I draw a square, I'm calling this the northwest corner. Okay. Okay. So if I told you to draw a... Four by four square, and its northwest corner was here. What would you do? You only got one choice, right? No, a four by four square. Hmm? I said four by four. You no, three by th no, that's four dots. Oh, I didn't by four dots. The this. Yeah. So that's. I think that's the most important thing you're actually learning today. It's not in any of the problems. It's this whole toothpicks and gumballs thing. Uh huh. Um. Okay. And that's the only spot, this spot right here, this is the only available northwest corner mm -hmm. for a 4x4. Four four. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to use a different color. What are the northwest corners available for a 3x3? Three three? For a 3x3, three three, the northwest corners are right here also. Mm -hmm. Right here and right here. Are you sure? Can this be No, never no. mind. Oh, you were, you were miscounting posts again, right? Okay, so Maybe what else? here or here or here or What here. about the bottom? What? We're trying to do a 3x3. Three three. I'm sure. going to draw a 3x3 three three, right, that starts. Bring that out. Bring okay. That out. So this would be a 3x3. Three three. Whoops. That would be 3x3. Three three. Yep. And I'll draw another one. This 
would be 3 by 3. Mm -hmm. That's good. Right? And then, uh, so you see that for a 3 by 3, we can have, uh, we'll do with a pointer here, uh, this corner, this corner, this corner, and that corner. Okay. Can be the northwest corners. Mm -hmm. Right? Um, okay. 2 by 2. Where, where can I have northwest corners? Here, I'll we'll do, what do you want, blue maybe? Sure. Okay. Oh wait, that looks like one green. Now. Green is good, yeah. Um, so, two by two northwest corners. Two by two northwest corners. You know what corners. else I'm going to do? I'm going to change it. I'm going to change the writer to be much thicker. So, like, uh, there, now that will be really thick. Whoops. Okay. So, it's this one. Right. Or it's this one. Or this one. Right. Or this one, this one. This one, or this one, this one, this one. Aha. Uh -huh. So if you'll notice the pattern, what's the pattern here? For 4x4, four four, so now it's on the pointer. For 4x4, four four, this corner was available to us. This, this corner is always available to us. Right. And then as we make the square smaller, what becomes available? The other, all the other ones. Right, so a 3x3... Three allows us these four corners. Uh -huh. And a two by two allows us these those. nine corners. So then evidently, if I were to go to one by one, it's going to allow me all these. And you know what that illustrates? It illustrates why these numbers are all themselves squares. Oh, one, four, I nine, didn't notice 16, that. Right? So um, sometimes when you're counting these things, Instead of counting, like, the whole shape, mm -hmm. think to yourself, is it, like, instead of counting, like, a whole circle or something, is it possible that maybe I can just think about the center or something like that? Okay. Okay? Um, but, uh, anyway, what's 16 plus 9 plus 1 plus 4? Uh, that's for homework. Okay.